Hey, what's up, guys? I want to quickly comment on something that I saw, uh, I guess maybe two days ago now. Uh, I would try to post the link to this video in the uh, comment section so you can see for yourself. But um, shout out to Ness at the Boxing Voice. Uh, he uploaded a video a couple of days ago. Uh, it was after the Crawford Diaz press conference where there was a group of reporters, a group of guys talking to Terrence Crawford, okay? Um, there was a guy from ES News, I believe Emilio is his name, and he introduces himself. He says, Emilio, I'm Emilio, uh, I'm from ES News, and Terrence Crawford's like, no, he's like, no. I'm not talking to ES News. I'm not doing no interview with ES News. And then um, the guy from the Boxing Voice says, well, what about the Boxing Voice? And then he's like, y'all be putting out some bulls. And he, he held off. Uh, and then the guy from ES News is like, well, you know, what's going on? Tell uh, Ellie why, why you don't want to talk to ES News. And then he was like, because y'all are biased. Okay. And uh, then it kind of goes on. Uh, the guy from the Boxing Voice asks some questions and then gets on his good side and he talks to that guy, says he likes him. And I don't, I don't, I'm not too sure if the guy from ES News gets any more quotes from him or talks to him anymore, gets anything out of him. But, uh, you know, I want to comment on this. Uh, this was interesting to me. I need to make a statement about it. All right, first off, Terrence Crawford. Uh, he, he needs to put the uh, personal feelings aside and these guys this small huddle of guys okay I'm pretty sure it, it might have been maybe like five or six guys it was not a lot of guys because right, I did not hear a lot of voices all right it, it, I might be generous saying five or six all right anybody who comes up to him uh, and, and is talking to him a media member he needs to talk to them, okay? Um, ESPN and FS1 are not knocking down his door. That's that, that, that's a fact. We talked about this uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, someone asked me to talk about uh, ESPN's lack of boxing coverage. And I, I laid out why, my, my feelings as to why they don't talk about boxing too much. They don't have uh, much of a financial interest in, in boxing. And, uh, you know, boxing is not viewed as, as by many people as, as uh, the NFL uh, is viewed, MLB, NBA, so on and so forth. You know, you know boxing has been buried on pay-per-view and, uh, you know, a lot of fighters are not seen because of premium cable, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's not, it's not placed among the uh, masses, okay? So Terrence Crawford needs to talk to any and every reporter he can to get his message out to spread to the masses. The guys that are interviewing him, the Boxing Voice, ES News, they have huge followings on uh, YouTube and social media. Boxing fans, that's where boxing fans go to uh, get their boxing news because ESPN is not putting out uh, the, uh, the the word enough, okay? Dan Raphael uh, I cannot find him. Okay, where where is he? You know, he we only hear hear from him every now and then. He is not on ESPN television on a daily basis. That's a fact. I was was Dan Rayfield at that at that press conference. Did I hear Dan Rayfield's voice in uh, any of these videos? I did not. Maybe he wrote an article on ESPN about it. I don't know. Uh, but you know, the guys, the the, the hardcore uh, and people who are into boxing. They are tuned in to ES News, The Boxing Voice, and some of these other outlets. So Terrence Crawford needs to suck it up. Don't take it personal. As, as Ness plays that, that song by Monica, <laughs> it's just one of them days. Don't take it personal. Yeah, he needs to not take it personal. And uh, he needs to spread his word to the masses and talk to these guys. These guys are the ones putting in work, traveling the miles, doing what, what they have to do to uh, interview this guy. He does not need to shut these guys out. All right. And uh, also, I wanted to comment on the fact that it is because of things like this where these guys maybe get scared by these fighters, intimidated 
First off, because they're fighters. Second off, because if if these guys don't want to talk to them, then you know, what will their place be in the sport in in um in boxing media or combat sports media? If if these guys are saying I don't want to talk to you, well, then 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 what are they gonna do? They're not gonna have any quotes from these guys. They maybe they they they're kind of set back in the uh in the eyes of the um of the public when it comes to uh, media outlets and they may take a step back and so these guys don't want to step on no toes they want to keep a chummy a chummy relationship with these guys you know, don't want to piss these guys off that's why you see certain guys and I'm not going to say any names but you see certain guys favor and be very chummy and friendly with the guys that they talk to and the guys that they do not talk to because they may be in another country or whatever they don't talk to these guys then they will be critical of those guys shit on those guys not give those guys chances in fights you know not be as favorable as they are to the guys that, that they normally talk to all right if they were being fair and unbiased across the board they would talk to all these guys give everybody a chance and not have an opinion but uh you know pretty much everybody all these guys have an opinion and they are going to most likely slightly by uh, be biased in some way uh, now the beauty of my channel is uh, as I said this channel is about you know whatever I want to talk about it is mainly combat sports heavy because those are my interests boxing MMA you know those are my interests so that's why I talk about them the most but this is not a, a combat uh, sports channel this is uh this is a Trav FDY channel this is a channel about me whatever I want to talk about you know if for some reason in five or ten years if uh, I lose interest in combat sports and uh, pottery becomes my interest then this channel would be full of pottery videos okay that's just <laughs> you know uh, you know that, that that's just uh, the fact of the matter that's why it's named after me and not named uh, after a particular sport or anything like that all right and the beauty about this channel is this for the most part is an opinion channel this is a channel that's all about me I'm going to say what I feel about whatever whatever the subject is, whatever sport it is, whatever the, the, the person is, uh, whoever the person is. Uh, I will say how I feel about them in certain situations. I am not concerned about uh, backlash, about not getting interviews, about fighters not talking to me, shutting me out, because that's not what this channel is about. This is not about being a journalist, uh, getting close to fighters, getting chummy with fighters, becoming friends with fighters. That is not what I'm about. I'm about saying what I feel about certain things. Uh, I, I I try to be respectful. I try not to cross certain lines and, and accuse uh, people of things. I you know I try to be uh, to have those standards. You know I was a I was a journalism major. I do know a little bit about these things. Okay, but uh, you know I'm gonna say what I feel. Of course there will be uh, you know fact included. There will be research material included. And when I when I have research material references I tell you what they are I may post links to them or if not then I will tell you the names of them and you can look look it up yourself to see that I'm not making making things up all right and I'm pretty sure the smart people out there can distinguish you know what are my opinions and what are the facts because when there are facts I will say hey I went to box Rick I went to this site that site you know uh, I, I will name these things this was the article that I got this information from I will say those things all right but uh, that's the beauty of my channel as opposed to the other channels and, you know and I'm not mad at the, at the other channels I praise them I thank them you know as I said I, I came on YouTube when I realized that I could get you know combat sports coverage 24 7 man I, I have been on YouTube ever since I have not been off you know and it is a beautiful thing I, I salute these guys for going around talking to these fighters these boxers and uh etc and you know getting quotes getting information getting sound bites uh it is it is great for all of us man great for the junkies you know and uh you know that's what i am man. i love this stuff and uh you know, i thank these guys at the same time tanis crawford of the world these fighters they need to they need to support these these uh these media members man because these are the, the hardcore guys who are spreading their word, who are following these guys, not ESPN. ESPN is not giving a damn about Terrence Crawford, you know. When Terrence Crawford fights, we, we, we would be lucky to see uh, at the bottom of the screen in the uh, in the, the the ESPN bottom line or whatever it's called that, hey, Terrence Crawford got a TKO over whoever, you know. So, uh, yeah, Terrence Crawford needs to uh, talk to these guys, give them access, you know, don't take it personal. 
uh, you know, they will have the cameras rolling and he can say what he has to say and spread it to the masses. But I tell you, if I was that guy with ES News, as soon as he said that he, he didn't want to give, give an interview with ES News, I probably would have shut down and, and walked away. You know, if 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 the Terrence Crawfords of the world, these guys, if they are not, uh, you know, professional with these media members and, and they are, you know, just being kind of bullies and, and mean and not nice to these guys, want to shut them out, have attitude with them, you know, everybody could get together and say, you know what, we're not going to cover this guy. You know, several, several, several of these guys could say, you know what, we're not going to this guy's fight, we're not covering this guy. And then when it comes to, uh, you know, seeing this guy's the aftermath and the, the build up this guy's fight on YouTube, you're just going to hear a bunch of people talking, giving their opinions, and Terrence Crawford's not going to be able to give his opinion. Then he would be on the outside wishing that he could, he could uh, you know, talk to these guys, you know, and, and tell his side of the story. So he needs to take advantage of this and, and spread his words, spread his brand, and uh, talk to these guys, man, for your fans, for, you know, for the sport, and for yourself. You know, it's a big circle. We all benefit each other. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to say that, man, uh, because I tell you, um, you know, the uh, the uh, bigger news outlets, you know, like the ESPNs, uh, FS1s, you know, they can and will ask the hard questions. And if, they, if a fighter doesn't like a certain person, they can send somebody else. And if they don't want to talk to that guy, then, as I said, they, they can put out their own narrative. They can say what they feel are the facts, uh, do their own research, and then you won't be able to respond. And that that, that will not be good for that person. Uh, so, you know, I, I just wanted to put that out, guys. Uh, you know, if, if I missed anything, uh, I will leave a comment in the comment section. But uh, I wanted to get this word out, man. Uh, I hope these guys do not be intimidated by these guys. As I tell you, if I was a journalist... Yeah, come here to high water. I would be asking the tough questions. Uh, Derek James, uh, you say Errol Spence does not take vitamins and supplements. Why did he not enroll in the Vada Clean Box program? Okay, he can get pissed. He cannot want to talk to me anymore. But as a journalist, that is your job. That, that is your job to get the information, to get the facts, to uh, put out to your to your audience. And uh, hey, that that's what being a journalist is all about. It's not about getting cozy with these guys. You know, uh, you know, being friends with these guys, all these kinds of things. No, you are you are in the middle. You are the middleman. You know, to your left, uh, you know, are the 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 people who participate in the sport. To your right, are the fans, the the audience. You know, uh, the 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 masses. You know, you want to co combine two. You are in the middle. So, if there is a brewing question from the public, if there is something that that needs to be known. Uh, ask those questions. It's not a, it's not a uh, question about his personal life or about his uh, his family or anything like that. You know, any any of his personal relationships. It's about him as as an athlete. Ask those questions. I, I wish I knew the guy who asked Errol Spence about about uh, the body test when I got that quote and I did that video talking about Errol Spence uh, turning down the body clean box program. There was a guy who had the guts, and I commended him in that video. I said there was a guy who had the guts to ask. Errol Spence, uh, you know, about about Vada, ducking Vada and all that, you know, I have not heard anybody else uh, uh, asking Errol Spence or Derrick James why this guy did not enroll in a clean box program because they don't want to piss these guys off and be shut out, you know, they should not fear that shit, man, they should, uh, I tell you, they, that that would be the scoop, get get the, get the answer to, to that question, if they want to shut you out, fine, don't cover them, and just talk about the sport as you normally do. Talk to the guys who want to talk to you, and uh, go go from it like that. But do not be bullied by these guys. Do not be intimidated by these guys. You know, be a journalist. Uh, do great work for all of us. And uh, hey, all I can say is is thanks, man, because uh, I I enjoy uh, following these sports on on YouTube, as I'm pretty sure uh, you know many others out there are. And uh, I just want to chime in and say that, guys. Thanks for watching.